Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, you voted to the topic about Russian feminism. And I actually a little bit stuck when I prepare. I just realized in order to uh, explain you what is it Russian feminism, how we Russian women live in Russia. And today I will tell you about it. There is also stereotypes that uh, women from Eastern Europe are good wives. They are good housewife, uh, they do all chores, they uh, uh, cook the delicious borscht, they do all uh, chores, they look gorgeous and have a cool accent. Is it really? Let's analyze it in uh, several parts of uh, uh, life of Russian uh, woman. It is uh, appearance, uh, marriage, uh, home lifestyle, uh, children, uh, career and hobby. So let's go! What is absolutely certain that home matriarchy dominates in Russia? It looks like uh, Russian women uh, cook, uh, do all chores. It's not just they do it, they organize it, manage and has authority. Well, it means that a Russian woman can uh, force her husband to uh, and her children uh, to do something, for example, uh, trash, uh, throw out the trash or help her on the kitchen. She comes up with what family will eat. She also directs with upburning and education of children where and how the family uh, will spend uh, vacation and uh, holidays and when will there be repairs. And often here husband listens to the woman in these cases. The woman is also responsible for the family financial budget. Husband gives his salary to her. Be calm, of course, it is not everywhere, but it is a quite a common. And believe me, there is some joke in Russia for a reason. What a husband has earned is a family income, but what a wife has earned is her personal money. Think about it before offering Russian girl a proposal of marriage. Of course, there are families where a man take on some responsibilities, but I'm talking about general tendency. We are Russian women used to it. This is a very natural for us because we were rising like that uh, since our childhood. Korea, one of the features of uh, Russian women lifestyle that is almost all of us work. It comes from past Soviet community where country and Soviet government needed a labor. And traditionally uh, women uh, take responsibility for chores, for children education, but it doesn't mean that she doesn't have to work and it doesn't mean that she can be just housewife. And also Russian men are used to her mother worked, her grandmother worked. It is quite natural that uh, his uh, wife uh, works and his daughter will work. There are housewives, but it is not reliable for Russian women because it doesn't give her any extra rights and some guarantees. This is just her personal choice and it is not approved by society. If only she is on maternity leave, which has been in Russia for three years. If she has many children or busy with renovated with their house. In almost other cases, uh, women must must work from the point of view of society. And one more feature. We understood that uh, Russian women uh, must uh, do all uh, chores, uh, home chores, be responsible for children's education and work. The question, how can she manage with it? In order to do all this, a woman chooses work uh, that does not require full dedication. And also in Russia long maternity leave uh, up three years, which does not go well with uh, Korea. And therefore, according to statistics, uh, Russian men are more likely to become leader in uh, companies uh, than uh, women. Children and motherhood. Uh, in Russia, it is considered important for women to graduate. It. And approximately in 21 years old, uh, she start to work. And around uh, 25-28, it is a good time in Russian 
society become a mother. Many women live by this pattern. On the other hand, this time it is also a good time to start and uh, grow up uh, in the career, but a woman passes it in order to be a mother. And also in most cases a woman takes uh, care and brings up a children. In general, uh, children start going to kindergarten around uh, two or three years old. Many women agree with uh, to live uh, with this way and it is one of the reason of protest Russian feminism. If a divorce happens, children usually stay with the mother. The court is almost always uh, stay in her sight. Russian women appearance. Society also expects that women must be feminine. And from our childhood it is cultivated. You have to behavior like a girl. And what is interesting, the beauty industry is very developed in Russia. I think almost every um, buildings or uh, living um, districts have some affordable service for nail, hair, uh, cosmetology, eyebrow, eyelashes, and it is developed by that fact that it is a demand. Besides, now there is a wave of feminism. This also affected that what women looks like. It was about how how we Russian women used to live, how uh, what 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 lifestyle we have. But guys, it is important that now there is a lot of talk about about that women want to work on a par with a man and that is why men should take more responsibility uh, in uh, home chores and uh, in uh, raising children. That is about uh, Russian feminists are fighting for. And this trend became more popular in Russia and not all Russian women agree to live with the classical way, uh, which I uh, explain before. And in the next video I will tell you about more about Russian feminists. See you!